little scar for the era that, that I was born in. Um, and then even I have a connection now. John Barber moved to South Shields in the north of England, and I was there recently. Um, I ran a half marathon. The finishing line was at South Shields. I beat most of the Barber team. Um, you know, they tried, but uh, it, was, uh, it was a great day to, to, to be there. Um, next question from Nina Hansons on Facebook. How do you identify yourself with Barber? What do you feel you have in common with this unique brand? As I said before, you know, I think it's, um, it, it's a great brand. It's universally known. Um, they have such a great collection as well, from not only the jackets, but uh, their great accessories. I particularly love my boots um, that I'm wearing. And I'm very excited to say that I'm going to be um, creating our own capsule collection for 2017, the Autumn Winter Collection. It's going to be a Sam Kuhn uh, signature collection. And uh, I saw the first prototypes um, of this line yesterday, and they're very exciting. Sarah Crandall on Facebook. How does the clothing line affect what your personal style was before coming an ambassador for Barber? I find that the clothing really, um, especially when we're outdoors in Scotland, you know, the weather there is cold, it's rainy, and I think that this is when the traditional Barber jackets really come into their own. They are uh, perfect for, for that kind of occasion, they're great to layer, um, but not only outdoors in Scotland, you know, I think that they, they really suit variety of occasions. Last time I was here in New York, we had um, we had a great time at the Tartan Day Parade, and uh, yeah, I wish I was wearing a bar barber jacket then, I would have stayed a lot drier. Emily Towney on Facebook, what's your go-to barber outfit? Well, as you can see, I'm wearing one of their fine uh, shirts from the shirt department. Um, they've been very kind to make me the face of the shirt department. Um, I really like the check, I really like their plain shirts as well. I think stylish and go with my style um, yeah I, I just kind of love everything there's something for everyone in, in the barber line so uh, so go check it out Natalie Patterson Moore that's a great Scottish name Moore um, do you feel barber clothing represents traditional Scottish style and if so how yes I do so as I said I was born and brought up in the southwest of Scotland on a um, old uh, converted stables on a castle grounds, and it was also a working farm. And I have a really strong recollection of seeing, you know, the, the local shepherd there wearing their barber, and uh, and our friends and family did, you know, if we went fishing or we went hiking, you know, we'd wear this clothing. Um, so it's something I've grown up with, and um, and now, you know, I think people you recognise barber. It's it's uh, very iconic, and uh, and has been modernised, but yet still has kept that, that great heritage that passed down over the years. Um, next question, Heather Li Ying, who do you consider a style icon? Wow, that's a very good question, Heather. Um, I think, obviously, Barbara has a great collection. Steve McQueen, I think we all want to be uh, as cool as him. Uh, he, they certainly have a great line uh, there. Um, some great t-shirts, actually, with St Steve on it. So I, I reckon he's a pretty, pretty fine fashion uh, Susan Hayes on Facebook. How am I doing? We're doing pretty well. Uh, when you're traveling, what piece do you always take with you? That's a very good question. Whenever I'm traveling around Scotland, I always throw a jacket in the back. Um, I find that they're very good, they're very waterproof. Um, or if I'm traveling abroad, I really like their quilted jackets. Uh, check them out there, keep you warm. Um, they're not too hot. They, they're kind of great for layering for any occasion. And very stylish too. Suzanne Hayes. Oh, I've already done that. Thanks, Suzanne. Am I coming to the end? I have surely not. No, I've got more time. Edwina Tucker on Facebook. Uh, what's been your favorite experience as the global brand ambassador for Barbara? So, uh, actually, the New York Tartan Day Parade was uh, an incredible experience. Barbara is the platinum sponsor of the New York Tartan Day Parade, and we were on Sixth Avenue in New York, marching down everyone were lining the streets and it was a great celebration of our Scottish roots, of our heritage. There was um, uh, pipe bands marching and we Scotty dogs uh, and a wee bit of whiskey as well. Um, so it was, a, yeah, it was a really great day out for everyone. Catherine Takayama asks, what makes Barber different from other brands? I mean, 
what what they, it's so iconic. You know, their Scottish heritage, obviously, their great craftsmanship. Um, I've been to their workshops in the north of England and seen these jackets being handmade by this great workforce of people. They have a great community there. Uh, Helen Barber and Dame Margaret um, still run this family-owned business. And um, to see the craftsmanship, you know, they have jackets there that people will send back after 20, 30, 40 years to get re-waxed, repaired. These pieces of clothing will last you a lifetime and really, uh, yeah, really become almost like a family Helen. They're, they're just great pieces to have to own. So uh, I hope mine last as long as well. Uh, Valentina del Campo Toro, as a Scot, do you feel proud to represent a brand that is so much like you and your country? I really do. I um, am very proud of this brand. It's something that I would never imagine that I would ever have done. I'm uh, a country boy from Scotland who became an actor, and to get the opportunity to work with this iconic brand has been uh, really interesting. Designing my own collection, working with the designers, has been really good fun. And I promise you there'll be no jackets with, with three sleeves. I'll keep it very traditional. Um, Nicole Krantz. Ah, oh, that's better. Thank you so much. How is it to shoot with a dog? And would you consider yourself a dog person? Yes. Connie. Connie, the chocolate Labrador. Beautiful dog. And uh, I kind of want to take Connie home. We did also shoot with um, a couple of other Labradors in the south of Scotland, which were very excitable, and uh, they were a lot of fun. But um, to be honest, yeah, I, I love dogs, and uh, I, I would like to take one of these home. If Baba could make that happen, that would be great. Um, Julie Calloway Powell, what is your next challenge? What do you hope to accomplish next? As I said before, we have been working on my own capsule collection for Barber. I'm extremely excited to, to unveil that next year of the Autumn Winter 2017 collection. Um, I just want to see if people like what we've designed, what the Barber team have come up with. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And also, I'm currently filming season three of Outlander, which uh, is very exciting. It um, feels like a very strong season already. We've just finished the first two episodes. Uh, we have a few more to go, but uh, I can't wait for you guys to see that. Mariana Krislov, since you'll be creating your own capsule collection for Barber, what will be its main influence and will the design reflect your own love for the outdoors, mountains in particular? Yes! I would say that we have certainly discussed closely with the magnificent design team back there. Hi guys, if you're watching, uh, back there in, in the UK. And um, we basically sat down with, with Gary, who's one of their, their head designers there, uh, discuss you know, what, what, would we, what we like, what functionality we would like, what materials um, I enjoy. And, uh, and then, yeah, the prototypes that I saw yesterday are very exciting. It seems that they've incorporated everything that I love about Barbara and also their heritage and history. They've got this amazing secret archive of Barbara. They have jackets that date back to the early 1900s, even earlier. Barbara was created in 1894. They have these jackets that are that old, but yet still look like you could wear them today. Um, and I think that's the, the great thing about barber jackets, that they, they really do hold um, that sort of, uh, that style, and, and they hold their shape. And uh, they're an investment, so get yourself one. Uh, Laura B., when you visit the U.S., what are your top three favorite things to do here? Wow, New York. I love New York. It's a great city. I'm coming uh, Actually, I've only been here a few times. Obviously, the Tartan Day Parade was one of them. It's very hot here today, so they've turned down the aircon in the barber showroom to replicate Scottish weather. They're going to spray some water and, and make it very cold here. Um, no, it's great. It's a great city to visit. Uh, I really enjoy it. And uh, Central Park, I love jogging around Central Park. It's really good fun. And I hope to go on one of the rowboats, maybe later today. Amy Lathan on Facebook. How does modeling photo shoots compare to acting shooting scenes? If I'm totally honest, um, I much prefer acting. You can hide behind the character. Uh, so yeah, this feels a little bit like I'm having to reveal a bit of my, my personality and myself. But you know, the barber team really make it very easy. The clothes are, are easy to wear. The chocolate Labradors are amazing. Um, I really enjoy getting out in the outdoors, especially with this clothing as well. I think 
the clothing really suits um, you know being out in the countryside and I think that's one of my great passions is to, uh, to climb mountains and be outdoors so it's, it's a perfect fit um, we are almost at the end we are at the end and so two two last questions and they're live questions okay here we go Stephanie Bryant on Facebook asks, if I had to pick one outfit for my husband, which would you choose for Christmas? One outfit for your husband for Christmas. I hope he's not watching. Um, I would certainly look at the, the, the autumn winter collection that's uh, being unveiled. There's some great pieces there. We actually did a uh, shoot in the south of Scotland in Peebles for the holiday collection. So go check that out um, online. There's some really cool stuff. Their jumpers, their jackets. He's going to love it. One more. Lainey Anthony on Facebook asks, I'm coming to the Highlands next year. What is a must-see or must-do? Wow. Well, welcome, first of all. I hope you have a great time. Uh, pack for every eventuality. The weather will change every 10 minutes. Um, bring yourself some Barbara. Keep yourself warm and dry. Uh, go see some mountains. Go see Edinburgh, the capital city. Come see me, Shooting Outlander. Uh, you're very welcome, and uh, enjoy your visit, Scott. And that's it, I'm afraid. Wow, that went fast. Thank you all for taking part. Uh, you've asked me some awesome questions. Um, I'm Sam Hewitt. This was the Barber Showroom, and uh, thank you for joining us on Facebook.